as Ross brought to you for you in about an hour from now. Now then, it's got a congregation of thousands, a charismatic Nigerian leader, and it's planning to spend millions on a new headquarters. But the Embassy of God Church isn't in Africa, or indeed in the Bible Belt of the USA. It's in Ukraine. The Ukrainian Orthodox Church says it's brainwashing people, and those in charge are more interest, interested in power than religion, a claim denied by the Embassy of God. The BBC's Helen Fultz reports. It might seem like a pop concert, but this is religion, Ukrainian style. The Embassy of God is sweeping across the country. It claims to have 25,000 members in the capital alone. For people here, a church service that has a feel-good factor is something new. But the reason it attracts so many people is this man. <laughs> Charming the audience with tales about temptations he's faced, Sunday Adelijah is the charismatic leader of the Embassy of God. His bright clothes and upbeat message make him stand out from other religious leaders. He started the church with just a handful of African students in Kiev. Now, even the city mayor is a regular. But Mr. Adelijah has faced a lot of hostility. Can you imagine a black man coming from Africa, you know, in this society here, you are lucky that you are white, because if you are black, you would have felt the difference. The Embassy of God is growing in popularity, but it's still the Orthodox Church, which is the dominant religion here. Most people consider themselves to be Orthodox Christians. It's a religion which has been around for centuries. And the rituals have hardly changed. It's a complete contrast to the Embassy of God. The Ukrainian Orthodox Church feels threatened. It doesn't like the way the evangelical movement is attracting some powerful members like politicians. And it claims that the Embassy of God is a cult. The followers become like zombies. They are fully devoted to the leader of the organization, ready to fulfill any of its desires. It also has an impact on political life, because these people have to campaign for the politicians loyal to their church. But the Embassy of God says there's no brainwashing. Instead, it's successful because it works with people who feel rejected by society. At this homeless shelter in Kiev, it helps prostitutes, drug addicts and members of the Mafia. A lot of people have become alienated following the end of the Soviet Union. So perhaps the reason that this new church is so popular is that it offers a sense of community, something which has been lacking for many Ukrainians. Helen Fawkes, BBC News, Kiev.